apparently Uber is already testing driverless cars. I know I shouldn't be saying it out loud because our driver is here. Hello? Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Marian Martin here from the Wireless Income. And right now we are on the way to Kingston upon Thames. And uh, we, both of us, we have a special feeling to us for that place because uh, it brings back lots of memories. Right. And uh, because we used to walk off by the river and uh, there are really nice cafes there and we spent, uh, we celebrated our, my birthday yes. in 2006, I believe. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go there, walk about, and have uh, some lovely food by the, by the river. So today is the day of connecting with dream, dream from the past and dream of the future because we're yeah. thinking of returning as well. That's another thing that we want to, this is the reason we want to be there. Yeah. And uh, what an amazing day we have. Yesterday and the day before yesterday was pretty much raining, gloomy and kind of typical Scottish slash English weather. Yeah. But today we have a gorgeous Jamaican weather. <laughs> and I want to share a couple of things. Yesterday we had an amazing seminar with our team. We had 16 people coming over to Croydon Airport uh, training entrepreneurs how to use social media, internet marketing in order to be able to create income from another location. And you know, right now we are in Uber car and Uber is such a great example of disruptive technology, seeing what's going on around how they disrupted, that they disrupted the market of um, taxi driving and you know, some of the businesses that used to be here, they are not around. And also, interestingly enough, apparently Uber is already testing driverless cars. I know I shouldn't be saying it out loud, so a driver is here. Hello? Hi. Hey. I'm good, yes. And basically the change that are happening, the speed of technology is so big. And yesterday we had actually two people who are shoppers, right? They are professional shoppers driving celebrities to different locations. And yeah, one of them drove his person. Right, and some other people as well, right? But the whole point is they are seeing the technology is taking away jobs from people. I'm seeing that walking to Asda, I'm seeing that wherever we go, the artificial intelligence, the disruptive technologies are taking away jobs. So if you want to find out a business model that allows us to travel the world, we are currently on a trip. How long? <laughs> we are on a oil rig continents, five countries and 38,000 And this is like, it's coming towards the end and I don't... The end of London. No, actually we still have a week in London. Yeah, then flying to London, Poland. Flying to Poland. But it's a, one month has already passed. Right, so we are so a little bit more than the, halfway. Yeah, we are on the second month now. Right. So if you want to see the business model that allows us to travel the world being Two, content, two months, three continents, five countries, 38,000 kilometers. Did Underneath you get it this right? video, yeah. Sure. Two months, three continents, five countries, 38,000 kilometers. Underneath this video, there's a link. Click on the link, and we're gonna see you inside. Bye bye. Okay. Just testing. <laughs>